Hello everyone, welcome to Miss TV. My name is Tofumi. All right, guys, there's one video we we come out, we share team out to win if the APC presidential candidates in person of Tunubu. So now he has come out to say, say no be say person sick or anything. So now person we get into like feel with this country. So because I'm going to leave you to this video to watch what Shetima has to say. Before I go, don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below about this video. I want to see your comment and turn on your bell and like this video. All right, watch. Nigeria has a coastline of 850 kilometers covering eight states the single largest investment in this country is the 25 billion dollars dangote refinery the single largest single train refinery in the world covering 1000 hectares of prime land bigger than victoria island producing 3 million metric tons of fertilizer per annum 1 million metric tons of polypropylene and processing refining 650,000 barrels of oil per day. It's because of the enabling environment, the welcoming environment that Ashwaju provided here in Lagos that made it possible for Ashwaju, that made it possible for Haji Aliko Dangote to site his refinery in Lagos. You could have sited it in Ondo, in Ogun, in River. There are eight states along the coastline but he opted for Lagos because of the quality of ideas provided by the template established by Bola Tinibu. And the MRS lubricant, MRS is owned by my brother from Kano. It's because of the enabling environment created by Ashwaju and his own team that we are here to celebrate. I want to commend the governor of Lagos State for strictly observing the template and working on the template and transforming Lagos. When Ashwaji became the governor of Lagos State, you and I know that the peer of Lagos to an average northerner was the beginning of wisdom. Many were skipping coming to the law school fundamentally because of the fear of Lagos. Lagos was a super slum. I believe the Attorney General of the Federation can give better testimony to this my statement. Lagos was a slum, a super slum. But because of the quality of this man's ideas, Lagos is now the third largest economy in Africa. From 600 million, Lagos government is now generating 61 billion naira every month as the internally generated revenue. And Lagos is projected to be the third largest economy by the end of the decade. So your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I want to celebrate Lagos. I want us to celebrate Lagos. I want to urge Nigerians, irrespective of differences in political affiliations, religious persuasions, tribal or sectional backgrounds. To look at the larger picture, President Buhari, by the quality of his leadership, by creating the enabling environment for Ashwaju to emerge as the presidential candidate of the APC, to me was the highest point of his leadership. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the President deserves a standing ovation from all of us for this quality of leadership that he has provided to this nation. So, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, let me conclude my remarks. I have taken up a lot of your time. But the Nigerian electorate is much more sophisticated than what some pretentious politicians are making us out to look like. Next month's election is a watershed election in the history of this country. The ability, as I have always said, the ability to sell bottled water in a saturated market or the capacity to collect excise duties doesn't make one an expert in economics. In the same vein, the ability to hawk alcoholic beverages imported from South Africa doesn't make one an expert in how to run a modern economy. I will urge you all 
to vote for the one that will sustain the legacies of President Muhammadu Buhari. For someone who has the integrity, who has the character, who has the skill set to catapult this nation to a higher pedestal. Thank you so much for listening and may God bless us all. Thank you.